to today's video, everybody. Another day of Vlogmas and something finally arrived. Mate. Yeah? It's here. It came. What, what did? You know, the thing we're waiting for. Oh, that one. Yeah. Okay. It looks good, right? Yeah, it looks really good. All right, I can I give like you the camera? It. We gotta, we gotta show them. We gotta yeah. show them. You guys have been seeing me talking about these and they are so good. Look at this. Oh, it's so warm too. We went thicker this year. Look at these. I love it. And it says, all I want for Christmas is car parts. And look, 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 look. It looks like a Christmas sweater, the patterns and everything. It looks like, you know, snowflakes and Christmas decorations. If you look closely, there's coilovers, there's pistons, cotton rods, crankshafts, lead, steering yeah. wheels, turbos. I love the detail. It's so good. Yeah. And the colors, I think we aced it. I yeah. think this is more of like a, you know, fancier kind of more like mixes in with everything else and mm -hmm. people don't really realize what it says until after they really look at it. Yeah. And that's the joke, you know what I mean? Yeah, and you know what's making it even Christmassy? What? Your hair You're right? color. You look like a Starbucks cup. Thank you. Oh, what? <laughs> Anyways, Christmas is here, guys. The Christmas sweaters are up on the website. All of them will be shipped by the 15th of December. And with DHL Express, everything will be arriving pretty much by like the 18th, 19th. And you guys will have everything in time for your Christmas dinners, lunches, events, and all that kind of stuff. So right now, go to summit.net, get yourself some Christmas sweaters, and let's get on with the vlog. I am running so behind today. It is like... 3 p.m. and I've only really just gotten to the office. We still have a lot of stuff to get done and unfortunately, the part we were waiting for for the truck to fix the power steering leak, which we need the truck tomorrow to transport everything to Fuji Speedway for Nismo Festival, it didn't come. I don't know what happened. There was some kind of communication issue, but it just, it didn't come. And it's not coming till this time next week now. So, we're gonna JV weld it and pray. Speaking of Nismo Festival, May's just handing me my expedition passes. This feels so weird, Expedor. Expedor? Exhibitors. Exhibitor. Oh, okay. <laughs> Do you English? It feels really weird to like be a YouTuber in Japan that then has your own booth at Nismo Festival. This is a weird flex. Anyways, we're gonna be doing, um, I guess this is like a hot drip coffee kind of thing. It's like, you can put it over your cup. I'll show you in a sec, but these are amazing. Actually, I know of several friends in the States that export this exact same UCC brand and bag from Amazon Japan, just so they can drink this in uh, the US. But l let me show you how this works. You grab a mug, tear the little baggie open. Oh, maybe I was a bit too aggressive on that. Hopefully we didn't tear it. It kind of, yeah, anyways, that was terrible. This is why I don't have an ASMR channel. You shake it out so it all sits to the bottom. Pull these little flaps over the mug. Depending on how thick your mug is will depend on how your experience varies. Oh my God, this is a bit too thick. Oh no, this is, this is not going as planned. Please stay. Now I like to keep my hands on here so we hold it and we're gonna just pour the coffee into the bag. Well, sorry, pour the water into the bag which will make coffee. Wow, I really need coffee if I'm saying weird stuff like that. You should do a little twirly motion, but I ain't got time for that today. Not today. Look at that, beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we need some milk. What's the due date? What's the date today, May? Oh, this is a six, that's good. You take your little baggie out once you're done. Be careful, it's gonna be very hot. Um, car thing, so I'm used to dealing with hot stuff. Try and not make a mess, otherwise Chichan will kill you. Drop that in the bin. I'm gonna add some, wait a minute. And we add some sugar. Nice. And the milk. By the way, these are like uh, gifts that people started bringing to us whenever they'd visit. <laughs> We've been going through the uh, the sus bars from um, uh, Game Receipts pretty quickly. By the way, go to Game Receipts, use code SEMIT. Add the milk. We're pretty much done. By the way, I know that Americans put like cream in their milk and I thought that was just, sorry, cream in their coffee. Wow. I really cannot speak today. What is wrong with me? Anyways, I figured out the other day that the cream that Americans put in their coffee is actually not milk and very different. 
So yeah, anyways, coffee's done. Hope you enjoyed my little lesson of how to use a UCC drip coffee thing. These are great. Highly recommend them. Now, these are like gifts that people have been dropping off or getting delivered here so far. And if you guys do want to send us stuff, please do. Um, this it looks awesome, by the way. I can't wait to try this. And then uh, we had someone else from Okinawa come and bring these. And these are wild. This is, um, I think this actually was given to us by our DHL rep. Um, but look at this, guys. Just like so many cool snacks and stuff. And then we got some GTR magazine from Andy Hawkins. Love this. And then we got the uh, the GTR journey book from Alexander, good friend of mine. He came out and uh, took some photos. Hopefully you'll see some of my, um, my shop and stuff in uh, his next book. But this is my favorite of all time new thing right here. I won this knife at Cooked, which was that uh, live streaming challenge against Sea Dog and Cooked um, Cook Sucks and a bunch of other streamers. And this thing is sick. This is my first Damascus cooking, like kitchen knife. These things are not cheap. And the best thing is, is it even has kukto engraved in it. Isn't that awesome? You can kind of just see the kanji. This is awesome, right, May? Yeah. You have you ever owned a knife like this? No, I have not. You only can get it when you can like go to those marketplaces. It's so cool. These it's are like so handmade. expensive. Yeah, no, it was handmade. I saw a video of it being engraved. Do you like how it says cooked? Mm. Cooked up. So okay, you're scaring me holding that. No! So yeah, I just can't get over how beautiful this looks in person. Like seeing all the intricate like details and the different layers of metal in there that make this knife, like I guess what it is. It's so cool. I have an all new appreciation for these and I think I'm gonna start maybe like buying a full set. But I wanna get like the genuine homemade like ones just like this. I don't want any of those like kits or packs or I want one where it's supporting like an old Japanese guy that's been doing this for generations. That's what I want to do. So I'm going to try and find some more of these throughout uh, the next few months in Japan. And uh, yeah, I think it's going to be cool to have like a full set, but these are all, oh, I, I just wet it with the kettle water. I'm an idiot. Oh boy. Here we go. I think I did this right. Oh, that's heavy. Lifting the cabin of a truck. Whew. Now, let's show you guys what's up. First of all, the biggest problem is that everything is now covered in power steering fluid. Like, everything. And let me show you why. It's actually so frustrating. Oh, even here, there's just fluid everywhere. You can see it's kind of just gotten everywhere. But it comes down to just this line right here dripping power steering fluid that's it that's all it is just this line there has a bit of rust on it and it rusted through the hard line for the cooler for the just the cooler line that goes in front of the radiator for the power steering and that's weeping just a little tiny pinhole so what i'm going to do is clean that off quickly uh, once i identify where the leak is so what i'm going to do is kind of uh start the engine up let it run until we see it weeping out of the hole i'm going to mark it or just try to take mental note of where it is I'm gonna clean it all off and I'm just gonna JB weld it and hope that that's okay. I believe it'll be okay. I don't think high pressure goes through. I think that's the return line that kind of goes through there and then back into that. But um, if it's high pressure, we might have a problem. But as long as we get a little bit more life out of it before the new pipe comes, we should be good. But looking at this in here, seems like some of these other lines up the front here, uh, which is still power steering related, have seen better days as well. So that doesn't look great. But I think we'll be able to at least fix this. Um, I think I've shared with you guys my plans with this truck is to get rid of it this year. I'm going to be selling this. Um, it's a full flatbed truck and it's just I want to get a newer one and a double loader. I um, actually got scheduled to get my big truck boy license. So I'll be able to, I think, drive up to 14 ton. And then I'll be able to have a double loader carrier with two S15s or a Skyline S15 chaser, whatever. Which I just think is so much better. So that way if I do start going to more and more like those events that I want to drive at, at Nico Circuit, we can go with at least two of my cars, whether it's one drift car and one daily car so we can drive around. Or if we're just going to like, you know, scuba circuit for a day, we can take two drift cars and have a bunch of fun do testing with car that we just finished building and then the reliable drift car. You know what I mean? So we never have downtime. I've got the truck running and you can see that the leak is right. This feels weird, man. 
just like open the door, shut her off, and then kind of close the door. Is this what Lambo owners feel like? <laughs> All right, so now we know where we need to clean up and JV weld, we should be good. I've cleaned up the pipe with a wire brush and you can see that little pinhole there after we cleaned all the rust off. Pretty nasty, we're gonna seal it up now. I also had to pop the line off just so that there was no pressure and oil coming out of the hole so that we can get that sealed up properly. The truck's all fixed up now and I'm working on a few final touches to the S15 involving a black permanent marker. And I'm sure you guys know, but I love black wheels because we can just simply do this to clean these up. La 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 la. And look at that. It's, cl it's fixed, it's good. You just keep kinda hitting all those spots. Unfortunately, when you drop tires into gravel and stuff, your wheels get pretty messed up. Look at that, can't even tell. <laughs> Probably not a bad idea to get like your wheels all like powder coated and stuff, but to be honest, they get destroyed so much. Look at that, beautiful. But yeah, I do know of some people that get like their wheels all freshly powder coated if they're still in one piece for each round. But I think uh, next year Advent's gonna probably get us to run some new series model wheels or something. But I'm just gonna keep working on this. Just to, you know, not really trying to hide it. Just wanna to try to make it look as nice as possible. So that, uh, the advans don't look bad, you know what I'm saying guys? We have now just finished loading up the S15 on the truck. We got the tent and everything packed up there. We're ready. And uh, tomorrow morning I'm gonna be back here at 4.20, literally 4.20, um, to uh, meet everyone here. We've got uh, Kissa and Yubo. They're gonna help drive the truck up while I'm driving the K-Van. And uh, we got a full team of people coming with us tomorrow. It's gonna be great. We have so much merch just packed into the K-Van, as well as a hoodie that's only for people that come to the Nismo Festival. We also have a limited run of posters for myself, Adam and Colette, and also Okachan for people to get signatures on and stuff like that. It's gonna be a really, really fun day. And uh, I'm both nervous, but also excited. Never done anything like this before. It always feels like, oh wait, what, like what if no one even rocks up and comes to the booth and you don't sell anything? But I'm, I'm pretty confident we're gonna be good. It just, I, it's a good way to gauge as well, like your Japanese audience, because sure, there'll be foreigners coming, but the majority of people there will definitely be locals. And it'll be really cool to see the turnout and uh, what it looks like. We are on our way to dinner and I've been wanting to stop by this little car yard for the longest time. And I'm glad we did today because this thing looks incredible. I don't know if I'd ever get an 8.6 that's like an orangey gold color, but man. Bunch of roadsters. Actually like, I'm surprised that they're not more expensive. It's like 12 grand, that's like 14 grand. These are so cheap. MR2 Spider, it's about eight grand right now. That's actually overpriced because it's a dealership. But this is what kind of blows my mind. About nine grand for this Honda Beat and about 10 grand for this Honda Beat. Um, I'm kind of just doing, really just take a couple more grand off what I've just said because of the exchange rate being so bad right now for us. But yeah, this is kind of cool, oh my gosh. Look at the roads to there, just like jacked up and they're doing some kind of work on it. Really cool. Interesting. Ah, this 8.6 looks, like, actually looks low-key fire. It's definitely just been repainted, but it looks amazing. Oof. Oh, it used to be a sunroof edition that's been uh, sealed up. Interesting. Yeah, that's cool. I'm glad we got to stop here real quick. We're gonna go to a really nice Italian place for dinner now, but dang, that actually looks really nice. Funny enough as well, it's literally opposite the big Toyota dealership. <laughs> we are at one of our all-time favorite restaurants. We've been coming here with your family and your parents for so long. And uh, it's actually kind of funny. I didn't actually realize that this place was Mama Pasta because we've been looking for this place. It got closed down, the one in Koryama close to Ebisu, and Adam's been wanting to eat there for the longest time, like since he came here, and he was really upset that it was closed down. I didn't know that this was 12 minutes from my shop. <laughs> so I apologize in advance when Adam and Colette watch this, but this is good. Yes. Oh yeah. So I got the abriata, and what did you get? Yep. A pumpkin gnocchi. Yeah, it's really Ooh. good. It's so good. 
So we're gonna enjoy, we've got a cheese plate thing going on here too. My camera hates life right now with all the lighting, but we're having a good time. Enjoying our last meal before lack of sleep and craziness tomorrow. We're so excited for Nismo Festival. We did a good job. Especially we did. Good time. We did. I fixed the truck. Fixed Don't want to talk about it. It was stressful, but I made it work. We, we didn't end up going with the JB Weld fix either, but we got it fixed. It work, That's all that matters. Yeah. Yeah. So, very excited to see you guys tomorrow. I'll try to be there on time. Yeah, May's going to join us probably later in the day, uh, but she should be there for the meet and greet, which will be awesome. We're in the process of just shuffling cars around and look at May go. She's got a lot of confidence recently. She's been doing getting a lot of seat time in her uh, Swift. She's also got a pretty big shopping list for that thing. It's not gonna look the same very soon. Back home and it is already starting to get late and I need to start thinking about going to bed so that I can get up at like 3.30 in the morning to then get to the shop by four or something and get everything ready and leave. So it's gonna be a crazy day tomorrow. The content is gonna be insane. Um, I, I honestly can't wait. I cannot wait to see what's going to happen tomorrow and we're bringing you all along with us. So I hope you're excited. I, I don't really know what to say right now because I'm both nervous and stressed and just excited at the same time. And also I'm very tired. So I want to go to bed, but I also just want to say, I'm sorry today's video wasn't like super eventful, but I really want to make sure we keep doing these daily vlogs so you guys get to see everything that's happening behind the scenes. And today was just absolutely chaotic a lot of last minute rushing things and just trying to make things work so that we can obviously get to the event tomorrow and not have any problems so i hope you guys are excited i hope some of you guys are going to be there tomorrow we get to meet you it's going to be a great day and uh yeah with that guys happy vlogmas i hope you're having an amazing december so far and uh start getting ready for christmas because there's one thing that i've learned recently and it could also just be because i'm thinking about this stuff because we got a you know a little one in the oven but um, family is important and we should always keep that on our minds. But anyways, guys, once again, hope you enjoyed today's video. I will see you all in tomorrow's video at Nismo Fest. It's gonna be crazy. Oh my gosh, and I have to edit after Nismo Fest. Oh boy, it's gonna be a big day. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Peace.